Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Taurus, Sun, Moon, Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, you Tauruses. Um, please like, share these videos. And remember, this is a general reading. Take what um, um, what affects you and leave the rest. Okay, it's just a general reading. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the week of a fire week. It's a fast um, going week. It's a week where you need to find balance. I have the lovers up, but you need to find balance because it's essential for your week. Whatever the issue is, whatever the situation is, balance is called for in this week. You have major arcanas um, that is coming up. Please like, share these videos, whatever is transparent in your life. Realize that balance is called for in this week. This week, the zodiac energy is water and um, the energy is fire and you are an earth sign. So they're both going to bring some balance in your life. Okay. Some of you need to find balance with someone who you're working with. This can be a partner. This can be a new love that comes in. This can be also a child or your parents. You need to find balance to deal with them. The energy of the lovers. So you need to find balance or, um, with your twin flame and your husband or wife. Or if you're in a relationship for more than 10 years, you need to find balance with this person. I am seeing the energy of transition coming up for you. And I guess this is why the balance is coming up. The energy of transition is definitely coming up for you guys. Then we see that you need to stand your ground. Um, Taurus is whatever is happening. You're too open. You need to stand your ground with um people and situations around you. There is a positive um, outcomes for um an issue and healing is coming in this is more of an healing because we have two angels two major arcana these are angels these are arcanas that is coming in so they're bringing in um healing for you um tauruses they're bringing in healing for you tauruses okay let's see what's in your foundation in this week you are having the magician so if you are thinking about getting married it's a yes go for it i'm seeing a new start is coming up whatever that was um happening i'm seeing a new start coming up for you tauruses so let's go in and see there's a lot of major arcana for you tauruses whatever the issues the situation is there is a um, you have a strong foundation um tauruses i'm seeing if you decide um to marry someone or if um, go and live with someone or ask someone out on a date is a yes go for it it's going to give you a new start i'm seeing some of you meeting someone new it's kind of hard for you you're kind of out out of balance but this person is definitely going to be helping you to bring balance in your life okay it's all about love and it's uh, in this week for you guys you tauruses it's all about love and it's all about knowing how to balance out situation between you and loved ones in your life okay so let's see what's coming up for the two of cups i'm seeing that you need to communicate there is some um situation that is going on and you need to communicate more whatever is transpiring communication is the key um you need to communicate more okay i'm doing this thing out you need to communicate more so whatever is happening and transpiring you need to communicate with your partner the energy of uh, um some of you if you're married to a scorpion I think you're going to be seeing the truth about this person. So if you're married to a scorpion, you're definitely going to be seeing the truth about this person, whoever the scorpion is. It can be a child, it can be your partner, it can be your parents. So now some of you, whatever is transpiring, the scorpions are coming up. There is a transition that is coming in for a Pisces cancer or a scorpion, but this is the transition some of you could be in a relationship with a man 45 years and older that is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, a transition. I am seeing you need to, um, you were open, you were hoping to have um, a new start, you were hoping to hear something, um, you were 
you were open for something but it's, it's kind of rocky what is going on here whatever is happening and transpiring you're not getting to you need to get to the bottom of something there was some lies deception um deception lies and deception that was going on with an aquarian and you're going to be finding out because you're going to be seeing the truth because an aquarian has lied and deceived I'm seeing some of you already decide to turn your back on a Gemini, whoever this Gemini is, whatever is transpiring. If some of you decide to end a relationship, a new relationship with someone, or if you decide to end a relationship, it is a yes, you're going to be doing that because I'm seeing no communication. You're blocking this person. I am seeing that you're going to be having a new start despite of some lies and deception. These three people you can't trust. Whoever these three people are, you can't trust these three people, okay? Um, some of you are going to be finding out uh, something about your friends. They're very deceptive. And I think that that is the reason why balance come in. You have friends and people who are very, very deceptive. And that's what is coming in. So we are going to be, there's some real deceptive situation that is happening. So here we go, that we have the energy of the lovers. There's no communication between you and your partner for quite some time. This is very burdensome for you because I am seeing that some of you are being blocked or you block someone. There is someone you were in a relationship with or a friendship. You have blocked these people because you have um you have a lot of burdens to deal with and you're thinking about um i don't really don't need these people around me right now and it's like you are trying to find balance it's as if too much things are coming up you have decided not to communicate with someone whoever this person is uh, you decide to end this relationship with this person and block this person some of you who are in a relationship you could be finding out some secrets about your partner. Whoever this is, uh, you could be, if you are married or if you're in a soulmate relationship, you're going to be finding out some things about your partner. This person is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, you're going to be finding out some things and you're going to decide. Um, it's as if you have not have any communication you haven't heard from this person and you're going to be finding out what has transpired there is transformation that is coming in for this person this is a pisces cancer or a scorpion whoever this person is there is some transformation this is a man 45 years and older whatever issue you have with this man it is now over so you could have gotten involved with a scorpion um a, a scorpion or a Pisces or a Scorpion and whatever relationship or whatever you have had with this person it is now coming to an end it is now to an end and you're moving forward in your life some of you are too open you just you 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 you're too open you need to like close yourself off there is just so much things that is happening you are open up yourself and you're not standing up um to a situation and standing up to people because there is some deceptiveness at play i said it and here it is there is some deceptiveness at play some deceptiveness at play you're leaving yourself too open so you gotta be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring because there is some deceptiveness at play some of you are dealing with an uh, Aquarian and whatever the conflicts is, is going to be over because you're going to be seeing what exactly has transpired. So some of you are dealing um, with some deceptive move, okay? A Gemini, you're protecting yourself from a Gemini. I'm seeing some of you are deciding there is, um, it's as if you end a relationship you end a relationship you turn your back to the spurs you have no communication you're moving forward and you're protecting yourself and this um person could be a gemini but it, it doesn't have to be a gemini it could be that you just end a relationship and you did the right thing you end a relationship you did the right thing and now you're protecting yourself I am seeing that some of you are walking away from three deceptive people. This has to do with an 
um, an Aquarian and uh, some deceptive lies and deceptiveness that they have tried to create. You're walking away from these people. These people are very deceptive, very lie, very deceiving. The truth came out and you're walking away. Some of you Tauruses are really trying to find balance to deal with issues and situation. Whatever that is transpiring and happening, you're really trying to find balance to deal with some issue and some situation that is transpiring, okay? And you will find that balance because I'm seeing that whatever deceptive things that was happening with between you and a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion, it is going to be coming out. I'm seeing some of you people who had a relationship with a group of people. I'm seeing you cut that shit off. I'm seeing that some of you got yourself in some problems and it was created by your friends. And I've seen you... Um, ending the relationship, no communication. You just don't want to deal with people and situation. And that is going to be happening. I want to take a look to see what is the seven of ones. Um, some deceptiveness that is going on and what is transpiring with a new start for you Tauruses with a friend. Okay. So, so yeah. Okay. So this is good. Um, unexpected luck is going to be coming in. Okay. So some of you were right to end the relationship. Whatever that was transpiring, some of you were right to end the relationship. Um, you were right on target because whoever this friend is, um, this friend is a tall, is, 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 was deceptive. Um, this friend is um, very deceptive. So some of you were in a, a friendship with an um, uh, with a Leo, a Leo. It could be. Um, it doesn't have to be a friendship. It could be that you're working with a Leo, but you find out that this Leo has been very deceiving, and you are letting this go. You found out that this Leo deceivingly did something a Leo and an Aquarius of deceivingly did something and got you in some problem and you are moving away from these people and letting it go as some of you these were your friends and they have gotten you in problems okay so I'm seeing an happiness where help is going to be coming in unexpected help is going to be coming in I'm seeing here, it's like a lot of you are cutting out people out of your life this week. Go and check out the monthly reading. Go download the On Demand to see what has happened and what has transpired. But I'm seeing this first week of November, it's as if you, some of you are cutting out some things. I'm seeing the men ending um, extended relationship because Christmas is coming. You don't want to pay a lot. <laughs> okay, so there was three ladies okay if you saw you notice that this flipped out there was three ladies that was stealing from you there was three ladies three ladies that was stealing from you there there was three ladies that was stealing from you okay and um these three ladies are out of your life now because they're blocked all right, they move on. And this is what I said. I said it before it happened. I said to you guys that some of you are going to be letting um, letting your loads down because some of you, they're blocked, they're blocked. If you guys were having some issue with three um, people, three uh, or people that was working against you, the blockage is on them. They can't touch you anymore. Can't touch me. They can't touch you anymore, okay? They were stealing from you unknowingly. Um, they were stealing from you unknowingly. Um, and whoever this person, because this is uh, it's like someone who is a, a Capricorn is protecting you from these people because this, this, this person is kind of sending them on their way. However, it is transpiring and happening for you. I'm seeing that um, they're sending them on their way. Okay, so we have the magician. And the magician is, yes, go ahead. If you, whatever you are deciding to do in this week, whether you have left someone in October, 
keep going at it. Keep this person off because I'm seeing that you're standing and keeping this person off. I see that you guys have made a decision. You have come to a crossroad with a relationship. You make a decision and you are holding back forces from what is happening. You're holding back forces from what is happening. So I'm seeing you end a relationship with someone and, um, you know, it's as if it was meant to be. It was meant to be to end this relationship. Whoever this person, whatever this is, um, uh, you, you had, it can be a friendship, it can be a relationship, but you decide from in October to end it because of whatever the issue you have gotten yourself in some problems. I'm seeing you were dealing also the people who are dealing with the Leo and Aquarius. You cut it off. These people, um, I've done some injustice and you realize and you cut it off. Some of you who were dealing also with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person, I am seeing an end is coming to this person with this person is. Okay. So let's see what is coming up stuck in the mud, stuck in the mud. But I see some of you were stuck in the mud, but I'm seeing you getting yourself out of the mud. And this is, this is, this is just absolutely Good. Um, being stuck in the mud, that means you were, um, you got yourself because balance is the energy of the week and you got yourself being tied up because of a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man that has deceptively got you in a situation. You're being invited to stop and savor the wonders of life. Okay. Become stuck is something that only um weighs you down okay so you need to remove yourself from out of situation um that has been transpiring okay because some of you became stuck because of an issue and a situation signs that you need to shift your focus away from what you're doing and place your focus and attention elsewhere struggling with something is not going to help it to be released okay now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. Clarity about circumstances will come a little bit later. Stop and find the joy in what you have been looking forward to. Soon you will be out of the mud. But for now, be still and know that spirit has a plan for you, ladies and gentlemen. I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you, guys. I am saying... Go check out the monthly readings. Go check out the monthly readings. And as you go check out the monthly readings, you will find out what exactly is happening. Namaste.